Welcome back everyone, we're on part 45 in turn 93 and we are just going to continue right where we left off last night which was on the verge of fighting a battle at Hitachi to deal with the Takaoka who had just landed. I'm going to arrive late with an army but I think I can hold off with retainers. Today I hope to perhaps advance on Kyoto. One thing, I, I, I really just want to have some battles with, with Kisho Ninja, that's the main thing. So let's fight this battle and get on with it. So I'm outnumbered quite severely. 1000 to 3000 more or less. 3 to 1 ratio. They've got Katana Samurai and Naginata Samurai. They have no bow samurai at all and they've got mostly Yari samurai so they've got a lot of infantry spam. I don't mind if I lose this one. I do mind if I don't cause a lot of damage to them when they take the town. If I can soften them up I can auto resolve against the survivors, the remainder, using the army that's moving in from the west. This is Hitachi, this is where I create units with accuracy. Like bow warrior monks. So my two units of Boashigaru are going to have that, the two. There they are. They both have gold accuracy which doesn't help much. It won't really Im impact their performance a hell of a lot. So we have three units of Tough infantry, we've got two Yari walls which should be of use considering there's no bow samurai gonna be gonna be firing at them constantly. And we've got walls here which are gonna be useful, so I'm gonna actually put my Boashigaru out as far as possible, fire at them, then retreat. I want to avoid their bows, I want to get their bows in a melee, and it looks like they are attacking from two blobs. This is all Yari Samurai. Alright, my bows are going there. That is where my bows are going. So I'm going to position them there, and these guys... there. And then I'm going to fall back to the centre. The thing is, these units... There's a Katana Samurai there, which will destroy me in a melee. And there's a Naginata Samurai, which will... do a lot of damage in a melee also, so... I like the way the katanas sort of shimmer from the sun, the reflection. Now it's quite obvious. Yeah, I like that. I've never really noticed that before. So we've got two Yari walls, those are gonna... If we support them, they should perform very well. So I'm gonna try and... The most important thing is to keep them away from the bows. Do not want to throw them away. So if I let them climb up and weaken themselves, they're going to lose maybe a third of their number climbing up the walls, if I'm lucky. If I let them do that, then Yari Wall and Flank, I should be able to, at the very least, do a lot of damage. So here they come on this side. Katanas and bows. Bows are firing. Into the Yari Samurai. That was not bad. We have 20 kills. Yeah, that, that accuracy may actually be helping quite a lot. Thirty-eight kills. Now that unit's on the walls, and most of them will have a shot. I like the way they're not coming up directly here. It would result in more casualties, I think. The Boashigaru are not firing. They better not fire. I want to do as much damage over here as possible, and then pull back. Fifty kills. Fifteen kills. They're not quite matchlocks, Boashigaru, but they can do a decent job of softening the enemy. 
I want to use them on the katanas. Everything else I can deal with to some extent. The katanas though, they'll really they'll fuck everything up if I don't take them out. Right here they're coming up now. Yeah, I need to pull back now. Alright, we're gonna have a couple of Yari Wolves. I can't let them take the Tenshu, but I don't want to move in too much. I don't want to be too aggressive with my positioning. And of course there's these guys down there. I can fire arrows now with the towers. It's a lot of guys. I can do a lot of damage to them, I just need to avoid the bows and not be flanked and not get into a melee with the katanas. If I can do all that, I should be okay. So I'm gonna, I think, deal with all of these guys using the retainers. So if I put these units like this, for example, there's no bows down there, so they're gonna come up and they're hopefully gonna die. If I can, I'm firing at those katana samurai as soon as possible. And there they are. I want to avoid their bows firing at me though, that's a trap I don't want to, to fall into. They've not lost that many. Alright, here comes the Boashigaru. I can move out. Yeah, I'm gonna move out. I'm getting off those walls, it's not helping. And I'm positioning the Boashigaru like this. Hopefully that'll help. I need to make sure I can deal with all of this shit. 50 seconds left. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! We're okay. Right now, fire, damn it. Take out those katana samurai. That's the worst scenario that can occur. If they are katana samurai survive and get into a melee with my infantry. Don't know what to let that shit happen. Are there bows? The bows came up, so I think I can move out with my Yari walls. So I should really be aggressive here. I'm on a bush here holding them off, as they do. I've got a unit of retainers holding off the Yari Samurai behind. Come on, move in. I think we can do this if I'm really careful. Alright, the Yari Wall's moving in. This should be good. The Katana Samurai are coming up. That's quite bad. I don't want to throw in the Boashigaru. I'd rather let them fire for as long as possible. The Yari Ashigaru are doing well. 15 kills, no losses yet. This unit is not doing as well. I don't know why the fuck it did all that shit. It's got Naginata Samurai up against it. Yeah, we can't really deal with them in any way. In any good way. This Yari wall should be able to hold off all of this shit. The Onabushi are wavering. Not that that'll do anything. It's just annoying. Ah, oh, this unit is not doing well. I need to force through this blob. I need to break these guys. Just firing at them is not going to do anything anymore. I need to get them to route. I'm going to send a unit around. I'm going to send Boashigaru around to flank these guys. Yeah, those Katana Samurai, they made it up. The majority of them made it up. Now they're a problem. This Yariwa was still doing okay. I'm going to second wind now, I think. If I can flank these guys, I should be in with a chance here. That's the key, getting this flank through. 
freeing up this unit of Yari Ashigaru. I just need to get men behind. And then the combat bonus will kick in. And I want to make sure that this, unit, this flank is freed up. Oh yes. Alright, that unit might route. Alright, these units are going to be broken through soon. Can't rely on that. Alright, I'm pulling out there. I'm pulling out there and I'm going to flank again. Up here. If I don't break these guys now, we're screwed. Oh man. Come on. I'm really taking advantage of this no route flag thing. Alright, we're in behind them. Come on, do well. Yeah, we're just being worn down here. This unit got over 200 kills, this unit got like 50. Definitely could have done better with that unit. And we've been sandwiched here. Because they broke through. Yeah, just the sheer weight of numbers, there was nothing we could really do. If I'd been more lucky and... Although the generals down there, even if we mass routed them, we really had to kill most of them and that wasn't possible. Killed hundreds of them. This unit, it just bugged out. Seriously, I hate that. Look at these guys here. Fucking hell. Tell it to attack something, it does that shit. Yeah, really, couldn't be bothered prolonging that battle. Alright, so now we take it back using the army that we have. That was always to be expected, that's what we were going to do anyway, so... Yeah, I don't, I'm not bothered. It's not like they're going to do anything to Hitachi for that half of a turn when we don't have it. We kill... they lost over a thousand, they've got just under two thirds left. And they've decided to move out. We lost Hitachi. And we lost the army at Hitachi, of course. Alright, here is the army we're using to recover it. And it is replete with awesomeness. We lost crafts, I don't care. We've now got 20 excess foods, that's really good. Now we're getting there, that's the kind of number we need. A few turns of that, and we should see a quite substantial increase in our income. Alright, so we have a 5 star monk down here. Let's try this, let's position the army as close as possible, see if this works. Twenty-four attack for these Kisho Ninja right now. That is really, really good. Now, let's see if this uh, monk goes back into the stack. I think it will. Demoralize. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look at this. So this unit of Shigaru has five morale. This general has nah. Twelve morale for the samurai. Five for the Ashigaru, so let's see. Alright, he actually left the stack. Nine morale, two morale, holy shit. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Now I'm gonna put these guys there. Would I be able to do that? Alright, fast forward. They're not close enough, okay. Who do I want to... This guy's 56 already, god damn it, he's nearly dead. Shit. Alright, let's get us a rank 6 commissioner for warfare, let's do that. So I'm gonna put this guy slightly closer. Then I'm gonna attack. Night attack? Oh, do I want to... 
They have mostly Yari Samurai, so maybe I should. Alright, the balance of power. I kinda like the challenge. The balance of power favours the enemy. I, I really like. So if we had cavalry, the balance of power would be like two thirds, between a half and two thirds, but with night attacks, it favours the enemy. And I somehow feel more prepared now that we're facing the enemy at night. We can win a more glorious, heroic victory, so... Yeah, we've got Bo Warrior Monks, we've got Kisho Ninja, let's go ahead and do it. These guys are not going to know what hit them. Takeda Nobushige. Alright, one of the really nice perks of Kisho Ninja is that you can place them pretty much anywhere in the battlefield. Kisho Ninja Training. That's what that does. That's what the game calls it, that's what it... That's what it's designated, that ability. Kisho training. The Hattori have Kisho training for every unit, pretty much. All the all the basic units have Kisho training, so... Rain. Oh, do we want rain? Ooh. Let's go with rain. And let's see what Big Nobushige has to say about this. Lanterns and rain. I like it. That's thunder. Holy shit. Those guys look like bosses. Oh. やつらの漁師と一門に忠誠を誓う勇敢な侍どもだ。あの者どもを滅ぼすとなると心が痛むが、これも運命のなせる技。仕方なかろう。野戦にはそれなりの難しさが。じゃが闇は我が軍の攻
or we can charge the generals with the Keyshore Ninja, that would also work, and it would just cause complete disarray. Or we can... Oh, one thing's for certain, I'm gonna begin the engagement using the Bow Monks. So let's move into position down there. Let's have a unit of Warrior Monks at each flank, so as to maximise the impact of that war cry, and between them both, I'm gonna have the core of the army, the Nage, Sam. The Bow Warrior Monks are missing one man, but that's okay for Whistling Arrows to debuff, I think you only need one arrow. Or it might not work that way, I'm not sure. I will know by the end of the campaign, right now I don't, I don't really know. I must admit I haven't really used them much. I haven't really used any of these tactics much. Every battle here is like a new experience for me. And I'm always trying new stuff. Optimistically trying new stuff. So what I'm thinking here is I could fire at the enemy with the, the bow monks. I'm going to need to protect the bow monks with a unit of Naginata warrior monks. That's what I could use them for. I could fire... I'm get, in future battles I'm going to have two bow monks, two Nagi monks, and the way that could work is I sort of combine them into like a module where I'll take up a position on each flank with two units just like this. I'll fire at them with the bow monks and then if they should charge me try and catch my monks, I will use my Nage monks to repel them and then perhaps war cry and fire arrows at the same time. And maybe that's when the Kishou Ninja crash into the generals and then while the enemies all split up I send the Naginata Samurai in. I don't want to let their bows fire at me, that's... unless it's at the Naginata Samurai. I should just ignore all the bows and let the enemy have them, because that means that the melee will be really soft. So I should use my bows to take out cavalry and anti-infantry, infantry, like these guys here. So let's get closer and try and take out those katana samurai. Oh, what the hell is that? Yara samurai are coming. Alright, they're in range, let's just fire at them. We're firing. And that arrow didn't even make it through. Fire. Oh my god, they're hitting the bush. I didn't realise bush is blocked. Well, if we do this, we can thin them gradually. We've got no cavalry, really, but that's, that's not a big deal. Alright, this isn't very good. Those plunging shots. <laughs> Whoa, those just took out four guys. No, that volley missed though. I'm gonna try whistling these guys and then charging. Alright, they've been whistled. I'm gonna war cry. They're shaking already. They're wavering. They're gonna route with no losses to me. These guys have armor, remember? Oh shit, don't get into the melee, no, Bowmunks, that's not for you. They shattered and they killed one man. Now that is a result. That is something I can approve of. Now the bows are coming with a unit of Yari Samurai. I'm gonna use my cavalry to take out the bows. I'm gonna fire at the Yari Samurai. I'm in the trees, their bows ain't gonna do shit. And they've been whistled as well. They're rapid advancing. I'm gonna charge them and take the high ground. They're steady. My god, they're already shitting themselves. Remember, they've been debuffed by... by the monk on the battle map. Cavalry crashed into the only bows they have left. It's perfect. I'm pulling back. Our general Good. is in grave danger, my lord! Wait. They've got another unit of like 40 men. Now they're coming back for more. Holy shit. These guys just appeared from nowhere. 
They're broken. I'm gonna slowly move closer now. I think they might be going for it. They might be trying, trying their luck here. I can, I can definitely let them come. Yeah, they're going for it. At least some of them. Their morale is not doing well across the board. Well, let's group these guys and send them at the enemy. And the Kisho Ninja should arrive soon. Oh shit, the cavalry. And I'm gonna send these Nagi monks up there. Alright, the shit is getting real. Let's get over there. Katana Samurai are going for... Yeah, these guys are manoeuvring like bitches here right now. Kisho Ninja are gonna arrive slightly late, but that's fine. They're sort of trying to flank me here. But I can take it. Alright, these guys. Stealth is engaged. I'm charging the general with stealth. And I'm gonna come over here with the Kisho Ninja. This is okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to charge the, the Yari. The katanas caught my bow monks, which was intended. And we're doing okay in the melee. Kisho Ninja are charging in down there, they should all route. Hopefully. Meanwhile... Are they charging my Kisho Ninja with the general? That's not good, we charge them, not the other way around. And... I'm taking care of them. Yeah, we're in a melee with them. They've all routed. The rest should break as well. Oh shit. My lord! Their general has fallen! A cutting blow! Yeah, that's not ideal. We're getting them, but we're, we might lose that unit Kisho Ninja. They're doing really well in the melee, but we should have had Naginata support. We were spread out, I'd rather have contained them, that would have been better. And I'm gonna stand and fight now, right here. We're blobbing in up here, which is good. This unit is stretched. We're bombing the generals. Holy shit, All right, I'm charging. I didn't realise that unit got out of the fight. I'm charging them. And I can walk around. They should route. Please route. Oh yes. This unit gets war cry soon. And that should be good. Although I think the entire army's done. I think that's it. They are finished. Are they gonna charge my Bowmonks? Or my general? This unit of monks has held on for so long. Oh yes. Alright, that wasn't as decisive as I planned, but from now on I'm going to remember not to let my formation spread out. We were spread far too thin there. Kisho Ninja, this unit did really well. 200 kills, 5 losses, that's... This unit had the charges and it wasn't accosted. This unit though was charged by a general. And its insane melee attack carried it through. Yeah, K Kisho Ninja are quite good at assassinating generals. Alright, this unit, 53 men left. This unit, 53 men. They killed 200 guys each. The Bow Monks didn't do a hell of a lot. We used Whistle Hours at the start. I'm going to try and save that though for when there's a big blob. And then I'm going to. That's another reason I want to stay compacted together, because then we can make better use of Warcry and Whistle and Arrows. The men are fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. I'll be able to send my whistling arrows right over the heads of entire formations. This unit of monks did really well. 20 losses, nearly 300 kills, and it's got 5 experience. So I'm going to hang on to these guys, they've got really good melee stats. Alright, I'm satisfied with that battle. We didn't lose any units, we... 
thing that disappointed me the most though was I didn't have any clean charge with the Kishou Ninja. I was running them around at the end. Ideally the Kishou Ninja should collide with the back of the enemy line just as the Nagina amongst the it should be simultaneous. So I'm going to try and synchronise it more. I don't want to be too close though because they have a... Kishou Ninja can be spotted from quite far away unless they have stealth active. Yeah, the Naginata monks did really well. Kishou Ninja have experience. This unit has two experience. That's something I really need to make sure I do, get the Kishou Ninja experience. They last so much longer when they have experience. And let's finish these guys and prepare to take Hitachi back. Alright, we can replenish our losses, so it's all good. And we're going to have to wait a turn before we take Hitachi back. That's fine. And we want a... We want a statue. Alright, now let's get back to the map, the campaign map, and have a look. So we recently won a victory here. You yeah, remember that? That was kind of a pain in the ass. We lost the unit of fire cab, I think. No, we didn't. Did we? Yeah, I think we did. That's what that was. And there's the survivors. We want to... Oh, this guy's 50 already. Fucking hell. Didn't realise my dudes were so damn old already. These are the shitty guys that I adopted, though. Who knows, maybe the campaign will finish before they can age that much. And we put them back here for now at least. I'm going to move out soon though, once I get my... Once I get these guys in position, I'm going to start moving out. Kisho Ninja. That's them in position. And I'm going to have to be careful of flankers. I'm going to have to be wary. Send these guys down here. These are the, repl the replacement Nagana monks with superior... Yeah, they're more suitable for their role, which is routing enemy, war cry. In addition to all the morale debuffs that are easily visible from the surface, there's also ones that are kind of hidden that you never really know about unless you pick them up sort of subconsciously or... I think everyone knows that if you kill half a unit, it will lose morale, but not everyone knows that. The amount of morale they lose is tied to how many men they lose and in how much time. Like if you kill 20 men in the past 10 seconds, they lose 1 morale. If you kill 50, they lose 2 morale. If you kill 100, they lose... It's something to that effect. It's all... It's not arbitrary, it's all predetermined. So you generally want to do as much damage in as short a time as possible. And if we can stack that on top of all the other morale debuffs we have, that should make for some really good routes, and that's kind of what the Kishou Ninja are for. To get into those places where the fighting is going to be really thick, where there's a big blob, a big massive infantry. Alright, this is Shingen here. I'm thinking we should move out with, with Shingen. He's got Kishou Ninja, he just doesn't have Naginata monks. Yeah, once those guys arrive at Shingen. I'm going to send all of these to Shingen, actually. Maybe I'm going to do that. That should take... How many turns? Not, it'll take a few, but I'm going to have some rapid turns. I've not, I've not got much left to do in terms of the campaign map. We're, we're kind of cruising right now. And these agents, they were surplus to our requirements, and they were going to help at Hitachi, but they're not needed. Should I take out... Should I take Shimotsuke? Maybe I should. 23% chance to incite a revolt. Uh, which... I'm gonna have a look at what the chance would be with this guy. 28%, that's kinda crap. I'm gonna just let them have Shimotsuke, I don't need it or anything, it's just... If Realm Divide happens, I'm gonna lose the Satome. I'm gonna try and retain the Imagawa, but the Satome, they're gone. Put them in there, so they can at least get experience. And we're going to take that town back next turn. We need to replenish though. 
Alright, what we're we gonna do now? Yeah, we're still waiting down there. We need to build farms. There's only a few more we need. Almost done with the farms for good for the towns we have right now. Is there one more or is that? That might be all of them. I might have just started building the last one. I think I have. We've got like 15 towns and I've surely went over them all. We're gonna have a surplus of 26 food. Not bad. That is gonna be like 20 growth per town, per turn. So that's like 300 extra town per turn across my entire empire. 25 times 15, whatever it is. Yep, that's not bad. So every turn our income is going to go up just because of that alone by like 100 or 200. Very nice. I could probably auto resolve using only the cavalry for this one, but I'm going to send all of these guys up as well and hope they don't be don't end up being destroyed. Now, am I recruiting Naginata monks? I better be. Yes, I am. Next batch is coming up, and I think that's that's about it. So, now we're in turn, and I think the Yusugi met attack from the shadows. I'm sure they're lurking there somewhere. I'm gonna move them in there. Oh shit, wrong way. Now we need to put agents back as well. And put this guy there. Yeah, that, that looks much more formidable. Although we're definitely lacking an in infantry down there. Which is okay because as soon as we start moving out, I can mix everything up again and fix that. I'm glad Shingen has the heroes. Very glad. What are we researching right now? Tea ceremony, then we get that. So we can make Confucian academies for the Chi research. And then we can research that to make temple complexes and then a famous temple. And then we wait for those to get built while we research, for example, this here. And then we go back for epic architecture and that. Plus five growth and the Kabunakama. All right. I don't think we're gonna be flanked again via the sea. And the Imagawa are searching for a monk to take out and they've uncovered a Yusugi army which I am placed well to ambush and take out. Alright, let's take out the Takaoka over there. We want to use this guy although I don't want to... I think I'd rather expose this army, I think that's maybe how it works. So, please do not lose any units. If you're going to lose units, lose that one. Alright, let's go. I can replace Naginata Samurai easily. Sagami is right at the front. Oh yes. Did they kill... They killed a hundred and... It was... Yeah, trivial losses and we got experience for... Well, the Katana Cavalry did really well. Holy shit. Not bad. And we have Hitachi back. Good shit. Repair and we're back. Now we get ready to move back to the front. So... The front being here, that's where they were supposed to be. Protecting. So I'm going to put the monk back there. I'm going to put these guys back beside them. Market completed at Sado, good shit. Land consolidation at Shimosa, good shit again. Our income is better. I was sort of worried that our income wouldn't be able to support the sheer volume of Kisho Ninja that we're making and monks and all that stuff, but it looks like we're okay. And we've made Nagi monks, so I'm gonna have another batch, and that might be the last one. 12 Naginata monks, that sounds like enough, that's like three per army, that, that should do it. 
three per army might even be too much. I like Nagana at Warrior Monks. So fuck it. In that last battle, I felt we were quite thinly spread across the front. Two units of Kishon Ninja coming from behind, that is enough. You just send them to the most the most lucrative spots. Can't, can't think of a better word than that. The ones that yield the most devastation to the enemy army and morale. Concealed army discovered. This stuff's kind of annoying because how the hell would that happen? No monks down there. And we have... Yeah, I'm gonna probably disband all of the warrior monks, except maybe for the unit that has five experience. Those guys could be incredible in a melee. 14 defense. 160 men with 14 defense is a very resilient unit. The melee attack isn't exceptional, but defense and armor, that's really good. We're going to replenish at a rate of two or three turns until we're done. Yep. And I've spent all my money, nothing else I could really spend on anyway, so that works out. So in turn I get closer to sending Shingen to Kyoto. Maybe I should send these guys up there first. And start moving across the top soon, sooner. I'm missing out on Naginata Samurai down here. Up here, I mean, I should say up there. So I'm gonna send like two or three units there when I get the chance. Alright, this Yusugi army, we might be in for a fight here. I think if I demoralise and then end turn, the demoralise is gone, but I'm not sure. I might just go ahead and do it. Nah. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. It might work that demoralise only has an effect if you do it and then immediately attack. But it should last through the entire turn, it should. And the turn ends when you've ended turn and then the last enemy faction rolls past, that's when the turn actually ends. Although it doesn't matter because we have to convert this character anyway. Wait. Nah, we didn't have an excess monk there we could have used. We could apprehend him, 63%. I'm gonna convert. Yeah, I need to protect my agents as much as possible. They're, they are a backbone to my strategies here. I really need to make sure I've got those rank 5 monks. Alright, that's it. End turn now, I think. Any agents sneaking around who have to be wary of? I don't think so. How are the Magawa doing? What are they making? Wow, holy shit, the Magawa are serious about this. Good job, Amagawa. They're hostile though, minus 159. Dishonouring treaties has went down to 245. Last night it was 247, today it's 245. So, only going to take 100 turns before they forget how treacherous we are. Good shit. Right, 500 trades and come with a Chosakabe. Maybe Speak if I can... Plainly. Speak quickly. Your presence is not entirely welcome. 20 turns. Mm, fucking hell. I really wish it would switch to pay repeatedly, that just it's so unintuitive. Nah, there's no hope for the Chosic Abbey, really there, there isn't, there's none. Ooh, a Yusuke Metsuke came along and fucked the Magawa guy and you fuckers are worried about that. You fuckers. God damn it. They, they took the easier option. Dishonourable dogs. I won't even have finished replenishing the fuckers. It's mildly annoying. It's a mild inconvenience. Alright, that's Metsuke, the guy that just took out my Amagawa buddy. 81%. Take that. Thanks for that easy experience. I'm nearly rank 6. Oh my god. We didn't replenish. As a consequence, we didn't replenish. Shit. Can I reach? 
Damn it. Wait, I can try something here. I can do something. Yeah, I could definitely work this situation to my favour here by doing this. I'm going to leave Kai open for the moment, but this will also give me a chance to organise my stacks. And then we do this. And I'm also going to have this guy get out. Get out. There we go. Good job. And I'm going to leave Nobushige behind for the moment while Yuki Muni, the 57 year old fucker, takes the initiative. I could fight this one actually, it would be interesting. Let's do it. Should I fight this one? I'm thinking I should, just the sheer scale of it. It invites me to fight it. Yeah, I'm gonna fight it. And of course we have the phallic town. Look at that, your alliance, Takeda Yukimuni, Takeda Nobukano, Nobukado, Takeda Shingen, Takeda Takakani. The Battle of Takasaki, 1568. Yeah, we've got... We've got like... Four guys here, four of the best. 